guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay at home mom of four. I also run the budget shop Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you're going to find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy or also on my website purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I are on a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash saving method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you'd like to follow along with, just keep watching. I'm going to be stuffing my weekly wallets as well as a few savings challenge. So let's go ahead and get into the video here. I believe, I think it's 1,552, um, something around there. I counted up for Instagram. I've, this is like my third video I filmed today. So I don't remember for sure, but we'll see. So let's count it and make sure it's here. So I have 100, 253, 54, 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's 500. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So that's 1,500, 10, 20, 35, 45, 50, 1, 2. Perfect. So 1,552. So I was right. I'm like, I think this is what it is, but I can't say for certain because, again, this is my third video I filmed. I filmed two reels counting money. So it's just all a jumble. And it was funny because the first reel that I filmed, which was my month ahead Monday, I went to film it. And I'm like, I don't have the right cash here. I'm like, I normally need stuff. $105 and all I had was 95 so then I scrambled to find cash and all I had was singles and then I gave myself 10 more singles than I needed so then I filmed the reel again I'm like wait 115 no this is wrong so yeah it was fun I've been a hot mess today so I'm sure this is gonna be a hot mess video but what video of mine is not a hot mess so if you love hot messes watch my video <laughs> If you love hot messes, subscribe because I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Um, I've reached about 550, so I'm super excited. Um, if you're not familiar with YouTube, once you reach a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, you get monetized with AdSense revenue. So the ads that are playing in my video right now, I don't get any cut of those. So those little pesky ads that you guys are watching, YouTube gets all the money. But once I reach that 1,000 and the 4,000 watch hours, then I start getting some of that money, which would be really awesome. So um, that's the goal that I set because it's a way for me to earn a little bit of extra money beyond my um, Etsy earnings. So every little bit helps. So that would really definitely help my family out. So if you love my content, like my videos, love hot messes, definitely subscribe. So I'm in a really weird mood today. So these three videos, they're going to be weird. Also, speaking of videos, if you enjoy vlogs and like office tours, I have those posted recently. I did an office tour like a week or two. No, I did my vlog a week or two ago. And then my office tour was here recently. So the most recent Thursday post. So I guess a week ago, that is my office tour. And then the week before that is my vlog. I'm trying to decide if I want to do another vlog here or not. I don't really have a bunch of orders sitting around right now. So not sure how entertaining that will be, but definitely one coming here soon sometime. So let's go ahead and get into the video and let's get this stuffed and hopefully I take care of it all correctly. So in gas, I am going to be stuffing 70. So 20, 40, 60, and then 70. Sorry, I was increasing the font size on my, or the screen size on my iPad so I can see it. My eyes, they're struggling. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I try to keep in around 110 here because that should be enough to fill up my husband's tank and my tank. And surprise, surprise, my tank needs filled this week. So I got to figure out which day am I going to torture my husband with making him drive a minivan to work? Hmm. Monday, I have to take all of the kids to a therapy session. So it's not going to be that. So I might torture him with Tuesday because I don't really have a whole bunch going on there. I'll have to check my calendar out, but... He gets to drive a minivan to work this week. <laughs> he loves that. Um, so for groceries, it is empty. It's getting 200. I always try to make it so that it's not a day that would inconvenience me. 
I who cares what he's got going on? Not really. I love my husband to pieces and I care about him, but it just like, he's got the same thing going on. He just has to get to work. That's it. Um, eating out is 200. So hopefully we can stick to the 200. I think we did pretty good last week. If I remember correctly on my unstuffing, it's been a little while. Sorry, my watch went off and I was seeing who it was. It was my mom. She has our oldest daughter. So spending is 20, 40, 50. And then my husband has our boys up in Chicago. They're going to be watching the Bears game tomorrow. So this is Saturday um, that I'm filming this. So um, she was just checking in to see if the boys had made it to the hotel yet. I don't know. I think they have. I don't know for sure. So I will get back with her once this is done filming. So miscellaneous is getting its time. So my weekly wallet is stuffed. So let's go ahead and get in here and go to personal care, which I'm doing 40. So 20, 40. And that's everything. So I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 105 in personal care. And then household is getting 50. So 20, 40, and then 50. So I have, let's see, 100 in the bank. Let's move this 10 over here. And then I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 1, 2. So $202 no, $302 in household. I've been trying to save up for a um, rug for our front room, which used to be my office, but I think I'm going to pivot. Um, if you watched my unstuffing video, you will have heard this already, but I've been dying to get a robot mop and vacuum. I'm spoiled. I have a robot vacuum, but I'm like, I really want a mop because when my vac vacuum vacuums everything, my floor is still dirty because I have four kids. I have two dogs. They track dirt and everything in and out. So if I could get something that like does it all, that would be amazing. And so I think I'm going to pull the trigger because the robot mop and vacuum that I've been eyeing is on sale um, this for Prime. So I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it out. And I'm going to put some it to the test and run it around in my house. And if it performs, great. I'll keep it. If it doesn't, it's going to go right back. That's what I love about Amazon. Clothing. We are have nothing in clothing because my husband went on a little bit of a shopping spree at the Fan Edge shop. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So I'm adding $100 here. Hopefully this is enough. Um, so yeah, he bought himself a couple of bear shirts. My boys some bear stuff and then we even got our daughter some things so our clothing envelope is really um lacking so let's see here kids it looks like I'm doing 60 I think yeah so 20 40 60 which reminds me I need to see if our kids are gonna be able to do the parents night out this month or if we're gonna be out of town I think they can so 20 40 60 81 so 100 in kids that's primarily what comes out of here or I've also been running their um, school lunch money through here so we will see it just kind of depends if I have enough in groceries it'll come from there um, it just kind of rotates where it comes from and then pet care has five dollars because our dog just got his shot and I think I'm gonna add 40 so 20 40 yeah our older dog he got his shot um, it doesn't seem like it's been working as well for him so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on him Sadly, I think it's starting to come to the end for him. So we're monitoring him for signs of um, pain or suffering and stuff. And then if we see it, then we're going to have to make the very difficult decision to um, put him down, which I'm not looking forward to because we've had him forever. The dog is like 12 or 13 years old. So he's been with us for a while because we got him when he was like around six months old or so, they say. Um, I think he was a little bit younger than that, just remembering the size that he was when we first got him, because we got him as a puppy. He hadn't even been fixed when we got him. And just kind of long story, if you haven't heard it, um, from my 
giveaway like announcement like what my giveaway was going to be video um because i did a q a in there we got him when we were in san antonio and before he actually became ours he developed parvo so we had to take him to the vet couldn't get a hold of the rescue we had to make the judgment call to kind of keep him alive and it cost us like twenty five hundred dollars so he's been through a lot he's had parvo i think he ended up with december at one point because his teeth are absolutely awful and that typically happens either through december or if there's something treated with like antibiotics and there's nothing that we know of that would have ruined his teeth like that because it would be during like the puppy phase um that's also another reason why i'm pretty sure that he was younger than six months because i remember him shedding his puppy teeth when we had him too so um the dog's been through everything and he is five years post melanoma diagnosis i believe yeah he is five years post melanoma diagnosis so i mean it's a miracle the dog's still alive so unfortunately i think i don't want to talk about it i'm gonna start crying um I think it's gonna be getting there sometime soon so hopefully he's around for Christmas that would be absolutely amazing and a miracle um but I mean he seems to be doing okay it just this arthritis medication just isn't like having him bounce back quite as fast he's still kind of struggling um he likes to sleep up in you know husband's bed which is kind of a little bit higher off the ground but the dog is a large dog um and he's kind of struggling so we will just have to see but anyways let's move on before I start crying so for car maintenance, it's getting 10. So this is typically for our um, car wash subscriptions. Me and my husband both have one. The kids absolutely enjoy going through the car wash. And so we go like multiple times a month. Like we probably take the cars through like four or five times a month each. So we are debating on whether or not we want to get rid of my car wash subscription because our daughter is obsessed with our new car, our two-year-old. Yes, we let our two-year-old kind of control us a little bit. She always wants to take Daddy's Explorer. So, or not Explorer, Expedition. We used to have an Explorer. And little princess gets her way. So we take it all the time. And so we're trying to decide, does it make sense to keep mine? So we might first, we might get rid of my car wash subscription because, I mean, we're not in my car quite as often, which is fine because we don't absolutely love my car. It's just gets the job done. It's a minivan. It has the sliding doors. So it's super convenient. That's why we keep it. So in car maintenance, we have 10, 30, not 10, 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 37. So that is definitely enough for one of our car wash subscriptions. Um, I think one comes one week, one comes another week. So we're good there. And then in lawn care, I'm doing 60. We normally pay about 40 bucks a week, but I might have some catch up to do on this. And um, I gotta check in our bank account to see if my husband paid him and just didn't tell me. He keeps our bank account in check. I mean, the man's an accountant. He's a controller for a nonprofit. And like, it was crazy back when I was working, I worked at a bank um, in one of their call centers. And like, I would, I went to the ATM one day and like within five minutes of me taking money out of the ATM, he's like, did you go to the bank? Did you go to the ATM? I'm like, yes. So he has like all these kinds of alerts set up, which I'm very thankful for. So that way I know if something is going to happen financially, like if someone steals money from us, my husband's going to catch it like that. So it's just kind of funny. So anyways, um, he kind of handles like the ins and outs of the bank account. I mean, I kind of look at it from time to time, but like the bank, that's kind of our buffer. So I handle most of like the spending here anyways in the cash. So what's in our bank, that's what would be like placeholder money. So I let him handle that. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 82, 5, 6, 7. As long as we have more than what is in placeholders in here in our bank, I'm happy. That's all I, I need to have in there. So I let him handle a lot of the rest because like if we start getting in his eyes low, which is like a like under a couple thousand in this one account, then he'll start like pestering me. We're broke. We're broke. I'm like, no, we're not broke. Okay, what's your definition of broke this week? And then he'll tell me and then I'll laugh at him like that's not broke. So um, yeah. it's been fun. So let's go ahead and go into blue, which is our low priority sinking funds. And we are going to do car tags, which is getting 10. So but I mean, everyone's budget is different. So what's a lot or little money to me is definitely different for you. What could be a lot to me could be little in your budget. So everyone's budget works for them. Everyone's budget is their own. So I can only talk to what works for me and what I'm dealing with in my budget. So that's that. 
and then car tags. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91. So a hundred dollars towards car tags. So we will be able to do a placeholder here soon. I need to do a cash condensing very quickly. And then memberships is fully funded. And then birthdays, birthdays. I believe I am stuffed our son's birthday present from here. So we are doing really good here, but I'm gonna go ahead and add 10 because our oldest daughter's birthday is coming up in December. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 1, 2. So 122 in birthdays. For this birthday, this is going to be for my birthday, my husband's birthday, and then our four kids. And then anything else filters through gifts. And then vacation is getting 150. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, and then 50. I wanted to bulk this up because we will be leaving for Chicago on Thursday. So that would be tomorrow from when you guys are watching this. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Now we can go to the water park two days. And then 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 15. So 315 dollars towards vacation. So we have the funds to do the water park two days if we want. Otherwise, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might do Sky Zone or something up there just to kind of celebrate our son's birthday. I know we're going to try and meet up with my aunt, who I'm really close with up there. So uh, we'll see. She might want to go to like a kid's place to kind of give the kids something to do so we can all chat and everything while they're having fun. So we will see what happens. So $10 is there. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2. So $82 in gifts. And then that is everything here. So let's go ahead and knock this and get this out of the way. So we're in October. So this is the first. And I am doing things reverse this week. I normally stuff the largest to the smallest. This one I'm going to be stuffing the smallest. So that is 85, I believe. Yes. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and then five. I just wanted to give myself a little breathing room while I figure some things out. So we have 80. And then that's all that, or we have 85. So that's all we have in October. So after the next three months, we will have saved $5,000. So I'm super excited. I mean, this is daunting to save just on its own but when you do the bite-sized pieces it really really helps so this will be five thousand here very soon so let's go into my black wallet i don't step the denomination challenge let's do the 52 week so 10 i'm just gonna grab a random orange because it's all mixed in here and we will color in a 10 and then we'll just for grins count because i don't even know how much I'm supposed to have in here without counting up the icons and I just don't feel like that today. So I have 100, 200, 300, 20, 30. So 330 in here and then the Bears tickets. So that's for the tickets that they will be using tomorrow. So my husband has a Chicago Bears card which allows him to finance tickets over the course of 12 months. So six, six or 12 months, I'm guessing six months based upon this he did not buy them in January. So this will be hopefully done before then. So I think I'm just doing 17. Yes, 17, hence the $2 here. The man is obsessed and loves the bears. So he tries to make it to a game like once a year. And then he's been taking our sons with him. Our um, oldest, he went to a game when he was like six months old. So, and then our youngest son didn't start going to Bears game I think until like three years ago or something and then my husband's been taking them pretty much like on an annual trip it's kind of like a boys thing so it's fun for them so I have 100 200 300 400 20 40 60 80 95 10 25 35 6 7 8 9 40 1 2 3 4 so 544 I believe is what I have so we are more than halfway there so I anticipate us getting this stuffed in time to pay that credit card off and then dental is getting just 10 I'm dialing it back slightly I wanted to get some other things more stuffed 
So let's color in one icon. There we go. And we have one, two, 20, 40, 50, 60. So 260. And then once this is done, we can work on this. And then it's either this month or next month. I don't remember which. I'm going in for more dental work. So we'll have more of these fun trackers to start on. Um, so that is everything here. So let's get into this wallet and see what we're doing. So Hot Tub is getting 75. So that would be, let's get the 75 first. 20, 40, 60, 75. And then this pink. So one, two, three. So let's see what we have. So 20s, 10s, and 5s. So I have 500, 600, 700, 800, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. 100. So I think this will get a $1,000 placeholder. So we are very close to having this paid off and we still have a decent amount of time. So this was for the hot tub repair. We, um, our house came with a hot tub when we purchased it. And so we had a new paper patio put in, like we extended our paper patio like two years ago. And when they were doing the demo, they like ripped the electrical on our, um, hot tub and messed it they spliced it and so it took us quite a while to get that electrical redone we just had a lot of things going on I was pregnant for a year there so that was definitely not a priority of mine because I'm like I can't even use it so I could care less I had other things I wanted done in the house and then my father-in-law got really sick he was the one that was supposed to help my my husband do that and so that just wasn't a thing and then we finally ended up having the contractor who did our bathroom do that for us so we got it up and running and then we found out that our pump had gone bad. So we had to replace the pump. So that's what the repair is, but we have a working hot tub again and we only had to pay whatever this was. Plus I think we bought like a cover or something. So I mean, pretty inexpensive for a hot tub. So, um, the play set I am doing how much? 40. So 20, 40. And you might say that, well, that was included in the price of our house. Honestly, hold on you don't really pay for things like hot tubs and stuff when you buy a house because the hot tub is not included in the valuation um, in our offer. So, um, so we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40. So 1440, it looks like towards the place that, so that is awesome. And it was crazy because like when we moved in the house the first time, like she had turned the hot tub off and so we had like a sheet of ice. So I'm actually surprised that we haven't had more problems with our hot tub, but for now we're keeping it. We're trying to decide if we want to keep it, get a new one or just not have one in general. But since we sunk a bunch of money into it, I think we're going to keep it for a little while. Got to find the right blue and then some lessons. It's doing 25. So there we go. And this is coming along great because I don't need this until May, so I might stop adding to this every so often. Um, we will see. Um, I'm just thinking of some stuff things that I'm going to have coming up here before this is due. I mean, tax refund time. I can do a bulk stuffing there, so uh, it'll be interesting. So 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 95, 100. So $600, so we'll be getting a placeholder there. So I have a lot of like opportunities for like bulk stuffings coming up. That I'm not too worried about this. So I might dial back on that. And then carpet is getting 60. So 20, 40, 60. This one kind of fell to the wayside because I forgot that we didn't have two years. We have 18 months to pay this off. So I'm like, I need to get to it on this one. So one, two, and then three. So let's see how much we have here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. So $600 towards around $3,500 worth of carpet. So we need to get working on this one. And then our wash and dryer is getting 50. So what did I mess up? 
we're gonna skip it because I think the only thing left is the bathroom and model. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So I must not have added correctly. So 20, 40, 60, 81 for the bathroom remodel. So I have 60 here. So I don't know what I messed up. So let's go ahead and skip this. We'll go to the bathroom remodel and we will color in this tracker. So we'll color in the toilet. Why I made the toilet be the most expensive piece on here, because it's not, I don't know. But, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 81, so that's 500, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, two. So $700, it looks like, towards our bathroom remodel. Um, and then I need to break one of these 20s. Actually, hold on. What I'm gonna do, because I have no idea where the 10 went, I don't feel like figuring it out, so I'll just consider it a loss at this point. And I will put this in my $10 challenge, so I'll take a $10 out, put the 20 in, so that means I need to color in one of these spots. If you found out where I messed up, let me know. Uh, it's not a huge deal because this is the stuffing aspect of it, so it just means that that cash envelope has $10 less than what I actually meant to have it, um, or I just added wrong on my tracker sheet, which that's probably more of what was going on, um, but either way, it's all figured out, so I use my denomination challenges as for oopses like this or if I have extra money when I'm doing unstuffings like as far as like in my spending wallet I didn't spend through it all so let's move it over and challenge ourselves so here's fifty dollars adding to this challenge and I need this, this color so let's mark this off and then let's count how much do we have towards our new washer and dryer so there's the 10 there's the 20 so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 20, 30, hold on, Let's see 50, 20, 40, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 91. So this is 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So $600 towards our new washer and dryer, which is great. We have, I want to say at least 24, if not 36 months, 24 months. It looks like, I think, yeah, it looks like it's 24 months or so on the washer and dryer. So we are good there. I think that's everything. So I think I heard my daughter stirring up there. So I probably need to go check on her and that's all I have for you today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cash stuffing. Thank you so much for those that of you that stayed to the end. If you did stay to the end, drop me down your favorite animal emoji and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.